Yo, what's cracking, you guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mango Grove. My name is Krisha, and without further ado, let's jump into today's altcoin of the day, which is FTM. Now, I picked FTM because it is trending on Twitter. And why is it, is it trending on Twitter? It's because of this massive pump that it had in an hour, guys. One hour. Okay, this is a good 21% to the upside. Yes, we're seeing a bit of a pullback, but this candle has people excited. Now, what really led to this candle? Well, rumor has it that Andre Cronier, who was one of the major, major leads on, uh, well, developing the entire DeFi ecosystem on FTM. Apparently, he's back. He had left not too long ago, and uh, when he left, when the news hit the streets, um, FTM actually dumped on that news, yeah. So now that he's back, what is the obvious thing that could happen? Well, FTM pumps. So now usually I don't really like trading any sort of event or news, but what I really like about FTM's chart is that it usually follows a bit of TA logic here. And, and that's why I decided to cover FTM today and just my luck because we closed a four hour candle. And so without further ado, let's first jump into the Mango dashboard to see what the dashboard is telling us on FTM. As you can see, I've already dissected some of these things. But guys, for those of you who are new here, the dashboard can be found on app.mangoresearch.co. What is it good for? Well, it shows you the prevailing trend of any coin that you're looking at and serves it to you on a platter. Okay, whether the coin is bullish, it's got a bullish momentum or a bearish momentum on here. And that is depicted with these trends, long, short and neutral. First off, what I want everybody to notice is how I'm on the daily time frame right now, by the way. Okay, there are so many coins that are freaking long, not just long. They have look at look at the returns on them. So they're bullish. Yes. Okay. But they are actually seeing continuation on those bullish trends, basically yielding you a good return if you're someone who is trading the altcoins right now. So what are we seeing here? We're seeing a shift in momentum because let's not forget we're currently in a bear market. Right, when you're seeing a shift in momentum, that is a sign, right? Now that could be, it could be a, a sign of market reversal in the near future, but these are all momentum changing signatures that you need to pay attention to. Now with that chit chat out of the way, let's get into FTM, find FTM on this list. Okay, FTM USD to here on the daily time frame currently bullish. All right, we got a long trend signal 6.5 days ago. And if you're someone who caught a trade on that, you're already up by a good 24%. Essentially that move that you caught today. So technically the algorithm that drives the dashboard caught the change in momentum beforehand. Okay, so now we're seeing this, this bullish sort of signature reflect on Phantom as well. So now with this piece of information, okay, let's go ahead and check out the chart. Let's see what the chart is telling us and wh whether or not there is opportunity on the chart. All right, so I'm currently on the one hour time frame. Let's get on over to the weekly time frame, because if there's anything I really like doing now, if you're someone who's really new to the world of trading, the first thing I'm going to implore you guys to do is start drawing out your horizontals on your higher time frames, because more often than not, you're going to see them cascade on over to the lower time frames and price action follows those levels extremely, extremely well. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to draw out a bunch of, um, not a bunch, but the prevailing zone of price action. What do I mean by that? Well, the most immediate resistance overhead and the most immediate support underneath us. That is going to be a good sort of measure on whether or not we've seen a breakout and what to expect next. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm seeing that we have support right around this region. Okay, coming in at 21 cents. And our most immediate region of resistance comes in right here at around 28 cents. All right, so now this, guys, is the prevailing zone of price action. And while it may look freaking tiny as hell on my chart, I promise you it's not. From 21 all the way up to 28 cents, that is a good 30% to the upside. Okay, 30% on that move. Now to get a better grip on the next move that I am expecting from this chart, I want to take you guys on over to the daily time frame because I'm seeing something on here. I am seeing a pattern play um, that just got triggered. Okay, and now this is the pattern that I am eyeing right now. It is actually a cup and handle formation. For those of you who do not see it, allow me to just draw it out for you. This right here is the cup. This right here is the handle. Yeah, it's a bit untidy, but it's got the right volume profile to it as well as the right structure. Okay, now that is the neckline. And as you can see, we've seen a pretty swift breakthrough of that neckline. Now, if I have to go ahead and take the measured move of this pattern and plot it on the break, where will that take FTM up to? That should still take us up to around 32 cents. 
All right, so we can go ahead and draw out a line right there. 32 cents. So the first target, in my opinion, that we have above us comes in at 28 cents, basically the next immediate region of resistance overhead. From where price is at right now to 28 cents, what is that, um, what is that move? That's just merely a 5% move. However, what lies ahead of us is a move to 31 cents if, if the target to the cup and handle formation actually plays out. From where price is at right now to 31 to 32 cents, apologies, that is going to be a good 18% to the upside. But now the main question stands, how would I play this trade, right? Would I recommend anyone buying in the middle of the range? Absolutely not. When the volatility picks up, you guys need to be very, very prudent in your positions, especially if you're looking at jumping in in the middle of the range. Would not recommend that at all. And why is that? Because if you jump in right here, anticipating prices to go up very, very swiftly, well, what if it doesn't do that? Because there is another probability that, hey, you know what? The trade might go against you. Now you're sitting in losses. And because of that prevailing volatility, your loss is not going to be minuscule, right? From where price is at right now, even if it gets down to the neckline, that's an 8% on that drop. And while you think you can handle it, a lot of people cave on their positions. Now, one way to eliminate that from happening is to catch a good bid on a good level. Okay. Now, usually when I'm looking for levels, I look at the prevailing zone of price action, which I have pointed out to you goes in from 21, uh, 21 cents all the way up to 28 cents. If I go ahead and take the, uh, the midpoint of that region, where will that take us down to? <laughs> that should take us to 24 cents, okay? 24 cents per FTM token, and that's it right there. Also, what's really cool about this, notice how it lines up with a retest of the cup and handle breakout. All right, now as far as the 12 hours is concerned, let's get into the 12 hour time frame and see how price closed relative to that midpoint. And what do you know, what do you know? We actually closed well over it. So what I would personally like to see here is for price to come back down, give us that retest at 24 cents, and then take the trade there and ride this to the upside. From 24 cents all the way up to our first target of 28 cents, what is that move? That is going to be a good 14% to the upside. If we see a breakout of 28 cents, that's when we can expect a rally to 31 cents. Notice how I am saying if, okay, because I do believe that 28 cents is going to be a region of contention where the bears are going to step in and they're going to put up a fight on this level. So pay heed to that scenario actually playing out where the bears step in here. All right. Now you're probably wondering, well, Krisha, what if price doesn't come down to, well, 24 cents and we just continue to rally from here? What then? Well, the next most prudent trade to be in, prudent bullish trade to be in instead of buying in the middle of the range would be to wait on a break of 28 cents and catch the bid on the retest. Yes, you're giving out a bit of your profits. You could be capitalizing on this range from where price is at right now to 28 cents, a good 5%. Right. However, what's um, different from catching the bid here than catching the bid on the breakout is that this is probabilistically more likely to play in your favor. OK, and that's why I will implore you to catch your bids on a decent level as opposed to catching it in the middle of the range. If price plays out according to that plan where we get the breakout of 28 cents and you catch the bid on 28, we see a rally all the way up to 30, 32 cents. That is going to be a good 12 percent to the upside. Okay, that is the alpha on the trade. So now this is what I'm seeing on FTM. I will still urge you guys to be a bit more cautious here. What I like so far, 12 hour cloud is bullish. Okay, we got a bullish Ichimoku setup right there. What else? However, notice, notice how 28 cents, right? 28 cents also lines up with cloud resistance. That's why I'm saying that bears are gonna come in to defend that level. So do not jump the gun there. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you had a few key takeaways from here. As you can see on the right hand side of my screen, I'm looking at a couple of other altcoins as well. If you want me to cover any other altcoin right now, I do believe that the alls have the edge. Um, well, let me know in the comment section below and I will be happy to give you guys a quick video. With this trade safely, trade stress-free, trade the mango way, trade the easy way. Ciao, you guys.